your skin, Big Bandish. Hey guys, what's up? It is my face story here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about zinc and acne. And I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot, especially in the natural holistic community of people using zinc to treat acne. And I always thought it was weird because like, uh, yeah, it's a metal, right? It's a trace metal. So that's why I always thought it was weird to like ingest a metal. Um, but zinc is found naturally all throughout the world. Zinc is found, you know, in our air, on the earth, in animals, in our bodies. So it is naturally occurring, and it's in things that we eat too. Some things that are full of zinc are oysters, crab, pumpkin seeds, wheat, spinach, things like that. But the thing with zinc is that it has been proven that people who suffer with acne have a lower amount of zinc within their system than people who have normal slash clear skin. So basically people who have clear skin have normal levels of zinc, while people who suffer from acne usually have lower levels of zinc. And many people have said that zinc, because it covers several different bases of the causes of acne, but it covers, you know, hormonal, cystic, even regular acne. And that's why I thought it would be important to kind of talk about zinc a little bit today. And if you guys have tried zinc for your acne and have any experience with that as well, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. But zinc is actually one of the most studied natural treatments for acne. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but when somebody will say, oh, just cut out gluten, or, or, which I have currently done, or cut out dairy, there really isn't a lot of information on why that works. Maybe there'll be like two or three studies, um, but on zinc, there are actually a lot of studies out there comparing zinc to different antibiotics and things like that. So we're actually able to target all the different reasons why zinc works for acne. So. Like I said, comparing zinc against antibiotics, although it's not as strong as antibiotics, it doesn't kill as much acne causing bacteria. Studies have proven that zinc is still effective at killing acne causing bacteria. And what's more important is that bacteria will never develop a resistance to zinc. So if you have um, a strain of bacteria, you know, on your skin, in your system, that is developed a resistance to antibiotics, you might wanna try zinc because it will never develop a resistance to zinc. Zinc also helps to reduce overall bodily inflammation. If you guys know anything about acne, you know that it is an inflammatory condition. It's an inflammatory response. And when a pore becomes clogged, that's what you get. You get the inflammatory response. You get the red area. You get irritation, itching, burning, things like that. Acne prone skin actually has a higher inflammatory response to bacteria than normal skin, which could maybe be why you know we get acne and it gets so red and irritated and normal people do not get it and it's not red and irritated but that's pretty interesting because zinc reduces the inflammatory response in your system and actually reduces your inflammation response to bacteria and it helps to calm the effect that bacteria have on the skin. Zinc also reduces keratin and keratin is like inside your pore and like glues and sticks together the dead skin cells and when you have too much of that and too much dead skin cells sticking together, it's going to lead to inflamed pore, clogged pore, and thus acne. But zinc reduces keratin, which helps to clear out you know, the dead skin. You're not going to have all that sticking together inside your pore, and your surface of your skin is going to be free of bacteria. Zinc also, also, slightly blocks DHT, and DHT is from what I understand. It's a powerful androgen that helps to give like manly characteristics. So like too much of it is not good, not enough of it is also not good, but it can cause like different side effects and it can cause hair loss, it can cause hair growth in places that you don't want it, and it can also cause acne if you have it in excess. But a DHT blocker like zinc will prevent excess androgens from happening within your system. So it'll cause your hormones to balance out naturally. And if you do have a problem with excess androgens in your system, then zinc would be really useful because it will help to lower them, decrease them. It's not a super powerful hormone blocker, but I feel like every little bit helps. There's tons of research, like I said earlier, surrounding zinc. They've done studies 
I think I saw when I was searching probably like 12 different studies on the effects of zinc and antibiotics. And what I've noticed is that zinc isn't effective, as effective as like minocycline from most studies, but it's still pretty effective. So for example, in a group, one study showed that 63% of patients were cleared after three months with minocycline, while there was 34% that were clear after three months with zinc. And 34% may not seem like a big deal, but really a third of patients being cleared just from taking zinc, I feel like that's a pretty staggering number. Another thing about using zinc is that some people say that you won't see results until at least a couple months after using it, at least like three to four months, and then you see results once your levels get stabilized. And really, nobody wants to wait that long. So, I mean, if you are going to do it, I would suggest using some form of topical to kind of speed that process up. So maybe then you'll see results with both of those. But maybe, I would never like count on just zinc alone. I think there are so many different aspects that go into it, but I think zinc can definitely help. So, with all that being said, scientists actually argue on which zinc is best for acne because there are different forms of zinc. So in all these studies done, they've all used different forms and some see better results, some see worse. But the number one, if you are planning on taking zinc, zinc pickles is the most bioavailable form for acne. After that, zinc methionine and zinc gluconate are the next forms. And then after that, if it's like very last, you can't find any of those forms. You want the pickle form, that's number one, that's the most bioavailable and easily absorbed. If you can't find any of those forms, then you want zinc citrate or zinc sulfate. Those are the least absorbed forms, but they'll still do something. But again, they should be used as last resort if you can't find the other ones. So a definite dosage, again, has not been established yet, but many people do say that you want to use at least 30 milligrams of elemental zinc. And the zinc container could say on it that it has 200 milligrams or 300 milligrams, but you wanna check and see if there's anything else in it because usually on the back of the label, it'll say elemental zinc and how much it has in it. So like it could be 200 milligrams of zinc, but on the back it'll say 30 milligrams of elemental zinc. So you just wanna make sure you're taking at least 30 milligrams a day to see your results. And I have not tried this yet myself. I am definitely interested. I did just start gluten-free though about a month ago. And I think my skin has actually kind of gotten like kind of broken out right now. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Give that at least three months, maybe four, and then maybe I'll try it. Honestly, I feel like slow and steady wins the race. So don't try too many things at once. You know, if you wanna try zinc, just focus on that. If you wanna try your digestion, just focus on fixing your digestion. If you wanna do hormones, just focus on that. Cause I think acne is so confusing and there's so many different things that go into it that if you try to do too many things at once, you can't really tell what's working and what's not, at least from my perspective, but yeah. Definitely give zinc a go in three to four months. If you wanna give it a go with me, that's when I will probably be trying it if this does not clear up from cutting out gluten, dairy, all foods except water. Just kidding, I'm eating, but not gluten or dairy, which seems like everything. That is it guys, that is all I got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully this video was helpful and maybe you'll try zinc pickles. All right, bye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.